Hey guys, it's Katie from Pretty Silly. Today I'm going to be dyeing my hair and showing you, if you don't know, how to dye your hair yourself. I'm using box dye. I know that's kind of a no-no, but I'm doing it. So if you want to dye your hair with box dye by yourself, without anyone's help, without missing a spot, stay tuned and watch this video. Currently, I had some purple in my hair. You can kind of see the difference in the colors. This is not good for box dye because I am worried. Okay, so my roots are light, mid shafts are dark, and ends are light because I had bleached them before. That this color is gonna lift my roots because it is a lifting color if you look at this it's lighter than the dark shade so my roots might be like super purple and light middle i don't think will be a problem and my ends are just dead the shade i'm using garnier nutrice deep ash violet in the ultra color i don't think my hair is going to turn this color Okay, so my method to dyeing hair oops, by myself and not missing spots. I'm gonna take the product, run it along my part, both sides. Smush. Because this is the part everyone's going to see. I probably won't miss any parts. I'm going to take the part all the way back. And smush that in. Ugh, strong. There's definitely going to... There's lightning in this. So my next one is... Well, this is the big side first. So I'm going to go like a centimeter over. And as I'm parting my hair with the nozzle, I'm pushing and depositing. I am not a hairdresser. We know this. I'm gonna go all the way back. Part over. Started doing my own hair because I Sometimes I get my friends to do it for me and they would miss spots and it would drive me mad. Like I can do better than that. So I don't know why I developed this method. I just figured it would get everywhere. I'm trying to figure out what we're doing for a giveaway soon. And if you have suggestions for videos that you would actually like to see, leave them in the comments. We appreciate all our subscribers so much. Thank you. So okay, so I'm just continuing down this way and I'll come back in a minute. Okay, so this half, like the top part, I'm just dragging my fingers through it is done i always check and i use both hands to look through and see if there's any dry spots so i haven't completely done the back so i will drag it back and down get my fingers in there so that it hits everything like down to the scalp I do the ends after. They don't need to be damaged anymore. I really wanted to do my hair turquoise, but I would have to bleach the crap out of it. I'm trying to actually grow my hair long again. We can do zigzags. Forever 21 right now is doing buy one, get one free online on their website. I saw today it was free shipping too. It's quite limited in the curvy plus size section. 
but if you're not in the curvy plus size section, there's pages on pages on pages, which sucks for me. <laughs> because even like in an extra large, if their clothes came in the extra large, it's not gonna fit me. So I'm brushing it back. And I always do this as well. Don't you miss anything? I'm not gonna try to brush through it with a hairbrush because a lot of the dye will end up on the hairbrush. Taking it off from my head. Okay, so for the ends. I'm gonna split them in two. Grab the dye, and this is when I go, no. This one, I go, oh no, I'm running out of hair dye. And I just drag it down through the hair shafts. <coughs> oh shit, it's booked. I might have to turn the fan off. Oh no, that fan's gonna be annoying to you guys. Shit. It's like either I die. Or you get annoyed. I'm sorry. So the top one, oh, just wasted some. This is still dry. I don't use towels anymore. I just use this top. Okay, now we're gonna do the bottom one. So I'm gonna flip it over to the other side and make sure I didn't miss anything. Which this hair was in the back, so I did miss it. No. I'm gonna get high in here. Work it through the ends. This way, it usually will get every piece. It's pretty saturated. I never dye my eyebrows, but I kind of like to try. Not today. I'm scared I'll get stuff all over my face and it won't come off. Okay, so right now I'm just gonna do a last check of in between here, 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 here. Make sure it's all thoroughly soaked in. And this one I have to develop for 25 minutes and I will wash it out and then come back and maybe I'll just show you when it's dry. Hey guys, so it's the next day and I don't think my hair is the color I wanted it to be. It's so dark. Okay, so it should have turned somewhere in between these two colors. And it's this color. Oh, you can kind of see the purple in the light. I did a coconut oil treatment because when my hair dried last night, just like natural drying, the ends were super tangled and poofy and so damaged. It definitely damaged my hair more. I should have got Manic Panic because that doesn't damage your hair. It's like a hair mask, basically. It just doesn't last as long in your hair. And now I'm debating cutting bangs. <laughs> I don't know if that would be a good plan. So let's look for spots that I may have missed. I shouldn't have because this was a tutorial on how not to miss the spots. Well, I don't think I did. But my roots are definitely a tad lighter. It looks so dark. It's not what I was going for, but it looks okay. I think it looks okay. 
So I hope you enjoyed the video. Hope it helped with dyeing your hair at home without missing any spots all by yourself. And we would love if you could subscribe. We love when you leave comments so we can write the back to you. And I'll try to post another video today. Yeah. Bye.